Allah Almighty tells the messengers and tells the believers, do you think you are going to enter Jannah al-Firdaus? Do you think you are going to enter paradise? When you have not yet been tested like those before you have been tested, أَمْ حَسِبْتُمْ أَن تَدْخُلُوا الْجَنَّةَ وَلَمَّا يَأْتِكُمْ مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْا مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ Do you really think you are going to go to paradise without a test? Do you really think you are going to go to paradise and we have not yet tested you in the same way we tested all of those before you, including the prophets? What was there? Allah says, مَسَّتْهُمُ الْبَأْسَاءُ وَالضَّرَّاءُ وَزُلْزِلُوا حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ مَتَى نَصْرُ اللَّهُ War came to them, famine came to them, disease came to them, loss came to them, disaster came to them, until they said, and the prophets from among them said, when is the help of Allah going to come? Imagine how much sabr they had. The messengers who knew the help of Allah was with them. They are saying, when is the help of Allah going to come? That's the question they were asking. So for you and I, it's a simple question. I started off this lecture with a similar question. When is the help of Allah going to come? Allah says, Allah, behold, are you a believer? We revealed to you what? The Quran. In it, what do we say? At that point, you must understand the help of Allah is near. He is getting you to where he wants to get you before the help of Allah comes. And that's why at the end of Surah Yusuf, Allah says, when did the help of Allah come to the messengers? When the time came when they almost lost hope, they knew it convinced in their hearts. But you know what? At times it becomes so difficult. You can imagine as a human, some of us go through challenge upon challenge. One is barely ending and there's another one bigger than that one. And then another one comes bigger than the other one. But Allah built you through it. He knew I'm going to help you one by one to become stronger and stronger. So you can bear the 20th challenge, which is going to come in your direction. That will be so massive. If we started with it, it would have finished you. So we started with the small ones to make you practice. One day this guy troubles you, next day that guy troubles you, then the big guy troubles you, then a bigger guy comes and then something huge happens. You thank Allah, oh Allah, you, you already trained me, man. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Look at it that way. It's a positive thing. You look at the young now and you look at the environment outside and how corrupt it is. And you, you think you want to protect your children, not realizing you have to teach them how to swim in the deep end. They need to know how to deal with the chaos that will surround them at a time when you won't be here. And you know what? The chaos might be worse than what it is right now. May Allah help us all. We worry about our children, but trust me, they will face their challenges. We just have to give them the revelation and we have to tell them what Allah told us.